Well, we can't have any more of that. Today we're going to install a backup camera. Welcome back to Make Stuff Nation. Today I'm going to show you how to install a backup camera in a 2017 Ford F-150. This is the Ford F-150 XL, the base model, with the first generation Ford Sync. The wire harness in the dashboard and back to the tailgate is all set up for a backup camera. So we just need to install the new handle that has the camera mount, the camera itself, and the wire harness for said camera. I've ordered the parts online. Here's the new handle, the wire harness for the tailgate, and the camera. Unlock and drop your tailgate so we can get access to the panels. Now I'm going to take off this panel to get at the handle. I'm using a T25 Torx screwdriver. This panel should lift right out. Now I can see we have access to the handle assembly and the latch assembly. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera in the new tailgate handle. I'm going to use a T20 Torx driver to remove the camera bracket. And this piece just lifts right out. We take our camera, and this will just set right down in the space as such. On this bracket, you can see there's a little clip here. It needs to engage in the tailgate handle underneath the camera. So just come in from the side, clip it in, and hold it in place while you install the screw. The camera's about 120 bucks. The handle is 20 to 30 bucks, depending on where you get it. The wire harness is about $12. Now you can see you've got a nice OEM style camera mounted in the handle, ready for installing the tailgate. Back here at the tailgate, we need to disconnect this linkage from the handle to the latch mechanism. Just pinch in the little tabs on the green plastic fitting and push it down through. Additionally, we need to disconnect this bolt and this bolt to release the handle. You can get at those bolts with a socket through these holes in the panel. So just two 10 mil nuts. There's one. And two. With those two screws out, you can just reach underneath, pull the lift gate handle out, just smoothly and gently pull down, and the handle will come right out. You've got these two tabs that engage at the bottom of the handle. At the top, you need to pull the handle to bring these cams back to clear the rest of the tailgate. We also need to remove this piece to use on the new handle. Just push this green plastic bit up off the metal then that slides right out. And then you should be able to slide this green bit out pretty easily. Just be careful not to break it. All right, to install the actuator on the new handle, it already had the green plastic connector. So just insert the metal pin and then fold the green connector down onto it and snap it in place. Just like that. Last, we need to remove the old wire harness from the tailgate. You can see right here is where it connects to the tailgate lock and actuator. So you just reach in, pinch the connector, and slide it off. That easy. Then we just need to unthread it out of the tailgate. There's a little plug here that holds it in place. Just push it down through or pull it down through the bracket. Just 
There's another one where the handle came out of. And over on this side, there's just a little clip. There we go. Okay, now we're under the truck here, kind of under the hitch. You can see this cable right here coming out from the, where the tailgate connects through. And this is the connector where it hooks up to the rest of the wiring harness. So we're just going to disconnect that and then feed it back out to the front of the, to the tailgate. So it looks like I forgot one more connector right here that just helps hold it in place. So I'm going to pop that out and we'll be able to feed the wire harness out of there. The right tool for the job makes all the difference. Now we can just feed that old wire harness out. Now we're just going to install the new one the same way. So with the new harness here, the big difference, you've got two connectors on the tailgate side. You've got the tailgate lock actuator, and then you've got the connector for the camera. This end for the truck is the same style. I'm going to feed it in through the tailgate handle, and then down through the bottom of the tailgate into the frame of the truck. Just like the old one was installed. We'll feed it through. Now you'll see we have this connector again. I'm just going to seat that back in the same spot as the old one. There we go. Now we can get under the truck and hook it back up to the main wiring harness. Alright, so this is the connector from the new wire harness we just installed. Here's the main wiring harness for the truck, so just hook them together. There we go, got them lined up. Let's press them together till it clicks. There we go. You can see here we've got the wires temporarily hanging out of the handle. So I can bring the wires through here just so you can see them. We've got a connector here. I'm just going to install that back where the original was in this mounting bracket. Just press it in. I'm going to feed the wires back down through here just as before. Install the rest of these clips. So after I installed this clip, I routed the wires under this bracket. There's a white clip right here. The wires continue underneath to the other side. This is the lock actuator cable. I'm going to install the clip up top like before and then plug it into the actuator just like so. This is the camera cable. We'll hook that up once we install the new handle. To install the new handle I'm going to insert it in the reverse order of how we took the old one out. So I'm going to pull the handle Lift the bottom of the handle into the hole first, tilt it up to, so these screws go into place, and then release the handle. Got those bottom tabs engaged. Lift it up on the handle to clear those cranks, and then just lift it up smoothly until it snaps. The last step for the handle installation is to reattach to this actuator. Just rotate this green plastic piece around and then press it up through the hole on the actuator. To the camera cable, I'm going to loop it back around. I'm going to clip it in the plastic clip here. Then I'm, coming, then I'm going to get around on the other side and connect the plug. Press it until it clicks. 
Last step to secure the new handle is installing those two nuts that we removed earlier. Click. That wraps up the fiddly bit of the install. Now we just have to put the panel back on the tailgate. All right, now all we have to do is flash the computer so the truck can recognize the camera. All right, we can check to make sure that the wire harness is working at least for the locking mechanism. So that's good. Now let's get the camera going. All right, to activate the camera, you're gonna need a laptop or tablet running the Forescan software and an OBD2 connector that's also been modified to work with Forescan. Just hook it up and plug it into your OBT, OBD2 port. And put in your key and turn the car to start or on without starting your engine. Then you can hit connect. Another thing that's really helpful is this Forescan spreadsheet. I'll put a link down in the description. It's off the Ford Truck forums, and it lists all the different modes that you can access with Forescan. Okay, the first thing we're going to do in Forescan, once we've connected, we're going to click the little module button. We're going to go to FCDIM and hit the play button. It's going to give us a warning. Just hit OK. And then referencing the spreadsheet, to enable the camera, we want to change the second digit on the 7A50101 field to a 2. It's currently a 0. 7A50101, yep, there's a 0 there. I'm just going to delete that and put a 2. Then we hit write all. Says cycle ignition off and then back on. Phone. And hit OK. So now that we've got it all installed and flashed, I'll show you. We'll put her in reverse. See the backup camera turns on. We've got a nice, nice clear picture. As you can see here, it's all working nicely. We've got the nice factory OEM backup camera uh, it's a really nice sharp picture well lit good contrast the one thing I'm not sure on is why the centering and guidelines aren't showing up on the screen I think it might be another setting that we have to activate in Forescan um, I have to do some more research on that and post an update if you happen to know what module that is or what code we have to change in Forescan please let me know down in the comments and that way we can uh, get this working for everybody thanks again for watching make stuff nation don't forget to like and subscribe Thank <laughs> you.